Hi everyone! Welcome to Rain Francis Art for Kids. My name is Rain. In this series, Alphabet Soup, we choose a letter from the alphabet and we draw food that starts with that letter. So let's draw! Today's letter is the letter K. K is for ketchup. So today I'm going to show you how to draw this cute little squeeze bottle of ketchup. Let's begin! This is what you'll need for today's drawing lesson. You're going to need a piece of paper or a drawing pad. I have a dollar store drawing pad here. It's eight and a half inches wide by 11 inches long. I have it turned this way today so that it's longer up and down. You're going to need a pencil, an eraser. If you have an old paintbrush lying around. I got this at the dollar store. It works very well to brush, brush off dust and pigment. Just make sure you haven't used it to paint with. Now we're going to need color. We're going to need red because that's the color of ketchup. We're going to need pink, some green, and if you have a yellow type of color and a sort of a dark orange type of color, the yellow is going to be for the hot dog bun, and I have this, it's called pumpkin orange. It's kind of like a darkish, brownish orange. I'm going to use that for the hot dog. You also need black. You could either use a black coloring pencil or a fine tip black marker. Okay, so those are all the supplies you're going to need. Let me clear off my workspace here my canvas and we can begin. Let's get all the pet hair off here first. <laughs> now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write the word ketchup, but first let's draw a K. That's a capital K and a small K just looks the same. It's just smaller. Okay. Now let's write out ketchup. Capital K E T C H U and P. That spells ketchup. All right, so let's do this. I'm gonna draw my ketchup guy about this big, okay? About the size of my hand. You can draw him the bigger the better. But remember, he's gonna have legs on him, so don't draw him too far down your page. So let's start with drawing kind of a rectangle, but let's start with the sides. And leave a little bit of space above your rectangle because that's where we're gonna put his cap, okay? So let's draw a rectangle, but just the two sides of the rectangle to begin with, all right? Just the two sides. Now the top of the rectangle, we're gonna, instead of drawing a straight line across, we're gonna draw a curved line like that. And you're gonna do the same on the bottom. Instead of a straight line across, you're gonna draw a curved line underneath like this. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do not at the end here. I'd say about here, half an inch in. Let's draw a curved line. Same thing on this side, a curved line. And then a straight line across. Okay, and now we're going to draw the opening, which almost looks like, if you know what a Hershey's Kiss looks like, that's kind of what it looks like. So there you go. That's the ketchup bottle. So let's add a little bit of detail right now. If you know me, you know I like these big round, not round, oval egg-shaped eyes. So let's draw two eyes. Okay, and inside those we're going to draw the eyeballs. They're two smaller ovals. 
two smaller egg shapes. And let's give him a big smile, a really big open smile like that. And we'll give him a tongue on the inside. Okay. And let's give him some cheeks. You just do a curved line to give the illusion of cheeks. And he's got some hands. Let's give him some hands, just a straight line and then a circle. Straight line and then a circle. And he's holding a hot dog. <laughs> so watch how I draw a hot dog. It's, it's not gonna be a big one. Kind of a jelly bean shape. That's the bun. Kind of looks like a jelly bean or a banana. And you're gonna do another one, but this is the actual hot dog sticking out, so it's gonna be thinner. Okay. And then a little, same shape, but smaller. Just like that, that's the other side of the hot dog bun. Okay, now on the body here, we're gonna draw a little label and it's gonna have a tomato on it. So why don't we start with drawing our tomato? Watch how I'm doing this. Right kind of in the middle here, I'm drawing the green part of the tomato and I'm just doing almost like I'm drawing a funny looking star. That's the top of the tomato. And then I'm gonna draw a round circle starting about here. Like that. And then for the label, we're gonna do curved lines. Now watch, it's gonna curve under here, but don't touch the tomato. It's going to curve slightly under here, but again, don't touch the tomato. Same thing on this side, slightly curved, and then curved here too, but don't touch the tomato. That's the label. And he's gonna have some feet, same as the arms, straight line, maybe a bigger oval for his feet. Straight line and a bigger oval, just like that. Okay, now what we could do, maybe around the top of the ketchup container, let's draw a few little, what look like teardrops. And we're gonna draw those red. That's gonna be the ketchup spurting out. <laughs> but they can look like lemons. Okay. So we've got our ketchup guy all drawn out. Now we're going to color him in. Now, what I want you to do, actually, you know what? I don't know if you did the same thing here, but when I drew my hot dog bun, I drew it through his hand. And that's okay because we're gonna color in his hands black. So don't worry about that if you did that. I just wanted to point that out. Let's start with the color red. We're going to be using red for most of this. It's going to be the little bits of ketchup here. The very top of the ketchup bottle, we're leaving that white, okay? But we're going to draw in this area. It's going to be red. These four are going to be red. And the whole bottle is going to be red, but I want you to be careful. Don't get any red into the eyes or into the mouth or onto the label. This, this tomato is gonna be red, but we wanna keep the outside of the tomato white and we're gonna make this part green. So let's try not to get any red on the very top, on the eyes, in the mouth, or for now in the label. Okay, so let's, uh, let's color. 
And if you're using coloring pencils, don't press too hard, you don't have to. And turn your pencil once in a while so you don't wear it down on one side. Let's just color in those little splashes of ketchup. Don't forget to turn your pencil and please don't press too hard. If you break your pencil tip, you've pressed too hard. And we're gonna go in right away and put a second layer. And a second layer, all that means is you're coloring it in a second time. It just makes the color a little more vibrant and a little darker in some cases. And don't press hard, you don't have to. And if you want the color to be even more red, you can put a third layer if you like. I'll leave that up to you. I'm okay with doing just two layers. Okay. Now we're gonna do the top here. Just the top of the ketchup bottle or container or squeeze, what are they called, squeeze jars? Don't forget to turn your pencil. And you can fill in that whole area up there. Okay. Now let's go in and put a second layer right away. You can see the difference between two layers and one layer. Doesn't two layers look much nicer? Let's go ahead and do that. And don't forget to turn your pencil. When you see me kind of lifting my pencil up like that, that means I'm turning it. I turn it quite often because I try to, um, I don't want my pencils to break or wear down on one side because Art supplies can be a little expensive. <laughs> and I wanna keep my pencils until I can't use them anymore. And I'm gonna show you what I mean here. This is called a pencil extender. When you have a small little bit of pencil left, look at how tiny this thing is. I say if you can sharpen it, you can still use it. I put it in the pencil extender and I tighten it, and it's easier to use that way. Okay, I'm gonna start filling in the bottle here, or the squeeze bottle. That's it, squeeze bottle. I think that's what it's called. I'm turning my pencil, and I'm being careful because I don't wanna get any into the eyes or the mouth up here. Let's keep those white for now. And the way I color is I color in circles like this. Either small circles like in between here, or if I'm doing a large area, I'll do large circles like that. I don't like to draw in straight lines because I, I find that you can see the straight lines. If you want to see the straight lines, then yes, <laughs> color in straight lines. But if you don't want to see them, it's better to color in a circular motion. I'm just concentrating now so I don't get any red into that, into those eyes or into the mouth. Don't forget to turn your pencil. When I was thinking of the letter K, a few things came to mind. I thought about the fruit kiwi. Have you tried a kiwi? It's a little green fruit. I really think that they're delicious. I'm being careful again around the eyes. And I'm gonna be careful not to get any red into the mouth at all. 
If you get a little bit in, don't worry, but try not to get it into the tongue because we want that to be pink. That's what we're using pink for. We're going to fill in black inside the mouth, so if, if you get any in the mouth, it's no big deal because the black will cover the red, but we want to try to keep the tongue from getting any red on it, okay? And another food that I thought about that starts with the letter K is key lime. Have you ever heard of a key lime pie? A key lime is just like a regular lime, but correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's from Florida. I think that's why they call it a key lime. It's from the Keys, I think they call it. I don't really know my geography very well, but you should learn your geography. Don't, don't be like me. <laughs> okay, I'm going down here. I'm gonna be very careful not to get any red inside the label, okay? I have made key lime pie before, and it's really yummy. Here's a picture. Doesn't that look delicious? Makes me want to make another one now, but I cheated. I didn't use key limes. I just used regular limes because they're hard to find. Here in Canada, at least, they're hard to find. And I found them one time, but they were tiny. They were so tiny. They were like, um, I don't know, they were the size of maybe a, a golf ball. <laughs> they were so small. Don't forget to turn your pencil. And don't press too hard. Maybe when we get to the letter M, I'll do a squeeze bottle for mustard so that this little fella can have a, have a partner, a girlfriend. <laughs> okay, so I've filled all that in. And what I'm going to do is right now, since I have my red, I'm gonna go in and put an entire second layer over what I just did, and then we'll do the tomato after, okay? So I'm going in and I'm putting a second layer all over the squeeze bottle. Turning my pencil once in a while. And this also applies if you're using crayons today. Turn your crayon so it doesn't wear down all on one side. I'm having a hard time with my pencil because it's so small, my hand keeps slipping down. I think we're gonna have to say goodbye to this. Goodbye, little pencil. You've done a good job. <laughs> but I was prepared. I have another one here, and it's longer. It's the same color, so. And it's very, very sharp, so I have to be careful not to press down too hard, or I'll break the tip. Oh, I hate saying goodbye to my pencils. <laughs> Maybe later I'll try to see if I can fit it into the pencil extender better so that I can keep using it. Get to turn your pencil. And if you're using markers, then you don't have to turn your marker because a marker evenly distributes what's in it. The, the pigment or the color is evenly distributed through a marker, so you don't have to worry about wearing down one side. Though they do wear down, I've noticed that they get flat when you use them a lot. I'm sure you can see the difference between two layers and one layer here. 
it looks much better having two layers, I think. And like I said, if you want it to be even more vibrant or darker red, add a third layer. It's all up to you. This is your work of art, remember? And it should be fun. I want you to have fun while we're doing this. Can you think of any other food that begins with K? Other than ketchup, kiwi, and key lime pie? <laughs> Think of any. Really, I can't think of any. Hmm, interesting. Usually I know so much about food. <laughs> I never get stumped when I'm thinking of anything about food. <laughs> All right. I love putting ketchup on a lot of things. I put ketchup on, well, I don't really eat too much meat anymore, mainly because it's expensive. <laughs> And I'm trying to um, cut down on my meat consumption, but um, I used to love ketchup on hot dogs and hamburgers. I put ketchup on my scrambled eggs too. And you're gonna think I'm crazy. I put ketchup on my mashed potatoes. <laughs> I love ketchup on my mashed potatoes. All right, well, I'm finished with my second layer. How are you guys doing? So when you're ready, we're gonna do the tomato. Let's just fill in the tomato with red, but be careful, don't get any into the, into the top of the tomato and don't get any into the label area, okay? Just take your time and fill in the tomato. But if you go outside the lines, don't even worry about it. This is, like I said, it's supposed to be fun. Just try your best. We're not trying to be perfectionists because when you try to be a perfectionist, sometimes it takes the fun out of it. And this is supposed to be a relaxing little art date for us. It's supposed to make you feel good and proud of yourself. Okay, so I've got my first layer done. I'm gonna go in and put a second layer on that tomato. I've never actually made ketchup at home. I made something called fruit ketchup Fruit ketchup is delicious. It's almost like, well, here's a picture of the fruit ketchup that I actually put on mashed potatoes too. This is a ketchup that's made with tomatoes, onions, apples. It's, it's very sweet and it's chunky. It's really, really good. So I've done my second layer now. That's taken care of. So I'll grab my green color, any green, and fill in the top of the tomato here. And I'm going to put in a second layer. to make sure that green is really nice and vibrant because there's a lot of red in this drawing and I want that green to stand out. I think I'm actually doing a third layer <laughs> as I go through it. 
All right. Now, let's see. I'm going to work on the hot dog. I'm taking that dark orangish brown color. If you have brown, you can use brown. Um, you can use... I guess you could use orange if you want. It'll be a, a very bright hot dog. <laughs> I'm just filling in the actual frankfurter here. Okay, I'm not touching the other two sides because those are the buns and they're going to be yellowish. And as I'm going along, I'm going up and down, doing a couple of layers all at the same time. I'm just being careful not to get this darker color into these sides here where the hot dog bun is. Okay. So now I'm going to take my yellow color. This is actually called yellow ochre. It's kind of, um, I would say there's a little brown in this too, a brownish yellow. And I'm going to fill in the areas where we've got the hot dog bun. And you can just, if you've done like I did here, and you've put the hot dog bun and the hand kind of overlaps, that's okay. Just fill all that hot dog bun in with the yellow color that you have. I've got a little dust here. I'm gonna fill in a second layer. Do you like hot dogs? Do you like the buns toasted or do you eat them plain or steamed? There's three ways of having it. I love toasted hot dog buns. They're so nice and crunchy. Okay, this is fun. This is really fun. Okay, let's take our pink color and let's color in the tongue. All right, I'm gonna give that a second layer right away. There we go. Now you wanna take your black pencil and that's where we're going to fill in the whole mouth here, except for the tongue. So let's be careful not to go outside the lines for this one. And we're just going to do one layer here. It doesn't have to be too dark. Well, we'll see. Let's take a look and see how it looks. Hmm. I think a second layer. Yep, I want it to be a nice dark black in there. And I suppose I could have filled this in with my marker, but you know what? I think the pencil will be just fine. Being careful not to get any black on that tongue or outside of the smile. Yeah, I think a second layer makes it look better. And I guess I'm kind of doing a third layer here, just making sure it's nice and dark. Okay, we're gonna outline it after it's gonna look better. Actually, let's go ahead and do that now. What you can do is you can take your coloring pencil, your black coloring pencil, or you can do like I do and take a fine tip black marker 
and we're going to go and outline the entire ketchup bottle here. Okay, from the top, that one's going to stay white. I'm going to outline everything. The little drops of ketchup. And this is optional. If you want to do it, great. If you don't, don't worry about it. I'm looking at that top and it looks a little bit too white. I'm making a decision, my friends. I'm going in with my red color, if I can find it. And, whoops, I'm going to fill that in with red. What do you think? It looks a little too white, doesn't it? Let's make that red. Sometimes I change my mind. <laughs> I think that's going to look a lot better. Yeah. Let's put in a second layer. Definitely looks a lot better with a red cap on them. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go back to my outlining. And like I said, I'm outlining the whole thing. I'll leave that up to you if you want to do that or not. Oh, that was hard. <laughs> it's just there's so much red in this. I want to make sure that you can see all the different parts of Mr. Squeeze Bottle Ketchup here. All right, so I've outlined the whole thing. I'm going to do his hands in black. And I'm going to fill in that circle with black. Okay, same thing on this side. I'm going to fill in that circle completely black. So it looks like he's holding the hot dog there. Now let's do his eyes. Let's outline the eyes in black. the pupils and we're going to fill in the pupils black if you have a marker this looks really nice but you can use a coloring pencil Or you can just use your regular pencil if you don't have a black coloring pencil. So let's do this eye. Let's outline the entire eye. And the pupil. And let's fill in that pupil black. If you're using a coloring pencil, you might want to do a couple of layers for the pupil, so it looks as dark as the mouth here. All right. Hmm, his eye looks a little funny here. I'm gonna fix that. It's not the same size as the other one, so let's see. Give him some eyebrows, just a couple of little semicircles. Okay. And let's outline the mouth and the, don't forget the cheeks. Remember, we gave him cheeks. And we'll outline the mouth. That way, the tongue is really going to stand out. And we can outline the tongue too. There. That stands out a little bit more. Now let's outline the label and the tomato. We're basically outlining everything. I, 
think that outlining is good because you're basically drawing, drawing, I say drying, drawing your ketchup squeeze bottle twice. First we drew them with the pencil, colored in, and now we're drawing them again by outlining. And it gives you practice. I think it's good to practice. And outlining makes things stand out too. Okay, last but not least, let's do his legs and his feet in black. And we're going to color in that little foot with black. And now this one. There. I am pretty happy with my Mr. Ketchup squeeze bottle. <laughs> I hope that you had fun with this. I hope that you enjoyed doing this. And don't forget, we have to sign our work. Always, always, always sign your work. I want you to be very proud of what you've just done. I really hope you had fun today doing this art lesson, my friends. And remember, Mom and Dad, if you post your kids' art on Instagram, don't forget to tag me. The link is in the description and in the About section of this channel. So we'll see you next time on Alphabet Soup. Thanks for watching. Bye!